All right, we're recording. So, um, so I've first created this group, made the chat history visible in order to make it a super group, and then um, I'm adding the bot. Uh, and giving the bot admin access. Sweet. And now um, I'll go into the file and bot. Please make sure to print me the admin. Great. Um, and here's a link for my MetaMask. That's good. Awesome. And then I'm going to um, start to go to the command center. Here, um, you'll be setting up the token permission to access. And we'll look for that. Swap. Okay. So you find your group in this list. Um, so we look at Swaghouse. And then click Roll um, for your token. And it's like Swag. And how many Swag tokens did you want people to have in order to access the group? Uh. I haven't defined it yet, but it would be like 400 or 500. I'm not sure yet. Sure. Uh, yeah. But we can just like, you know, say, um, and then this part is actually particularly important. And um, because it's, it's, it's letting the users know like what your community is about. We will add like media here at some point. So you can add like a video that's like, Yo, welcome to Swag. This is what it's about, like, and get people kind of excited because I think this is kind of this. The, once they get verified, they will receive this message, and then there will be like, you know, an introduction to the community, um, which I think is pretty important. Um, but for now, oh, just, that's amazing. Yeah. So, um, and then once you have filled out all of this, you have this invitation link. You can just copy that link and share it with anyone. And, and they will walk through this process. Um, you know, they'll click the link and then have to verify. And I will not have any swag, so. Uh, so yeah, the, the ones who don't have any swag will be like, sorry, you can't enter the group. Um, but yeah, this is it. That's pretty much the setup. Did you want to do the airdrop as well? I, I forgot. What? Well, first of all, this is amazing. <laughs> I love it, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, the process and then the link and exactly like say the intro video that would be like the top. Is there um, uh, right now for the text for the intro text? Is there a limit? No, no limits. You can add links. You can add whatever you want. All right. Okay. So when I choose role, does it does it influence like? Uh, uh, um, the wallet connect or it, it everything works uh, through uh, Meta, MetaMask? Everything works through MetaMask for now. We are gonna integrate Wallet Connect. Um, we're gonna try and integrate that by early next week. All right, MetaMask works perfectly. Uh, so then once I set up, I have the link, uh, then from there, uh, the, the the minimum token that I that I require to join the group, everything else like we go through like uh, we did before. And uh, when does the the bot checks for the yeah. for the user's token? Right. So the bots the bots constantly checking for tokens. Um, so if the user loses or sends away or sells their swag, um, they will get booted if they don't have that four hundred or that whatever threshold you put it at. Okay, so is there a notice before kicking them out? No, it just kicks them out. Oh, then they have to go through the process again. Yeah, yeah, then they have to like find the link again. Um, yeah, something that we could build in is like, hey, you know, you've, you've lost your swag or whatever. Um, um, may, yeah, maybe a booting message would be actually um, interesting or helpful. Um, would, but, yeah. yeah, it would be cool. Yeah, it would be cool if uh, because the bot checks uh, like every time for the for the requirement, which is which is quite amazing. 
Uh, and but I think kicking them out, like because that would have to be communicated once uh, you onboard users, right? You tell them, okay, this is the group, and we require this much swag for you to join. Um, more details regarding, I, I could link something. I can just say like, you know, if you have less than that, you will be kicked out. But I think it would be cool if when user got gets like uh, kicked out from the group, the bot sends a message say, hey, we kicked you out. Uh, uh, if you want to jo join again, just with the link to join again. We yeah. Kick you out because you, your your minimum amount. Yeah, that would be really cool. I, I like that actually. I think that's that is really cool. I'm gonna throw that into our backlog as well. Yeah, that would be really nice. But yeah, it's quite wow. <laughs> it's I love it. I love it. Um, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah th those were the questions that I had. Uh, regarding this and for the airdrop because i did a, 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 a first airdrop to the first users and right now what i'm doing is i'm really adding some uh people that i've been working with in different you know projects before and they've been really like early supporters uh and I, i'm just adding to them to the group and we i communicate with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis so in the beginning uh because i didn't know the features uh, the collab lab feature of the airdrop so i was just doing airdrop uh, through the, the CC tip bot. So I gave them like 200 swag, uh, but it's on the bot. So it's on the bot, uh, the, the, swag, the swag. So they would have to withdraw it to, to MetaMask. So that's like a huge no-no. You know, it's just too complicated. Uh, so with, with the Collab Blend, it's perfect because it's directly to, to the wallet and then the wallet is the one that you use to sign in and everything else. Mm -hmm. So that would be ideal. So that's why the amount to join will be, will be uh, uh, when I set it up, I will provide a link and with the airdrop and uh, the invitation. So pro I'll probably do the two in one. Right. So you do the airdrop and the invitation. Um, yeah. And the invitation. Oh, that makes sense. So you'll send an airdrop link, um, like with roll, right? Something like that. Yeah like a promotional link from roll and they're like, you're like, yeah, click this and, you know, get like, you know, acquire some swag tokens. And then, um, yeah. And then they, and then like, once that's done, you know, click into the, the link and join the rest of the swag house. No, I would love to do it like with the bot, with the collab land bot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like we did before. So if I would do like, I would probably have to deposit swag into the bot. I'm not sure how it works. Oh works yeah, totally, like. totally. Okay, so right. So if you already have a swag group or if you want to create a group, I think this is, this is a really good method that I've seen is people will create a group. You're actually, have you heard of the Karma DAO? Yeah, of course, yeah. I'm a big fan of what, what they're doing. Uh, yeah. It, it's amazing. It's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Andrew, Andrew's the man. Um, but um, he created this this first group, and then um, and then was you know added the bot, and so you can create a first group for people to like come into and hang out, and those are your early supporters, and then you can uh, you know hit slash airdrop. So if I go back to the bot, <clears throat> um, like what I showed prior, um, with the uh, w with that with that flow prior like yesterday um, you know you can just set up the airdrop and you'd you wouldn't set it up in the same group that you have the token permission you'd set it up in a group that you're like uh, that that's that it's like a waiting room before you get into the club kind of right yeah so I already have a swag group with this early supporters so I'll use that group to to set up the airdrop that's perfect. Yeah. So what you do with the airdrop is that you will have, um, uh, you know, uh, you enter your token address. So this is a little more manual because you have to find your roll token address on Etherscan. Insert that here and then insert like however much you want the threshold or the airdrop. And then add a message like welcome to the swag. And then boom, uh, and then uh, you once that's done, this is the address that you want to load up your tokens for your swag as well as your ETH to pay for gas. So okay, 
And if you ever want to um, take hold of that address and like add it to your MetaMask, maybe maybe everyone has like already taken their tokens, but there's still some left. You can always go to save um, PK and then click into like swag house, whichever. And then this is your this is your private key that you can save and you can export. Private key. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So these are the these are the pieces. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for every every time, okay, the first time I do an airdrop is going to create uh, an ETH address, right? Right. And uh, I just have to load that address and then um, uh, and and then and go go ahead with airdrop uh, for the future airdrops. I can always use the same address or does it change uh there's an address associated with each group that you create the airdrop for okay so the same address okay right. got it right. oh, oh wow i like it <laughs> great i'm glad yeah so so i can actually do like separate steps so stay because not everybody will be I don't want to kick them out before. So what I do, I already have a group. Uh, I will, I will do an airdrop and tell guys, this is an airdrop. Uh, the group is gonna whatever in the future, and you know, make sure you claim it before this time, right? So they all claim the token once my early supporters, these ten, twenty guys that I want to be in the group, once they claim or majority of them claim the airdrop, and it's ready to go, then I can set up the permission uh, for the group. Is that something I can do or, or since I do the collab land from the beginning with 400? So, uh, yeah. I, yeah. What, what I would do is um, you have that group, you have that initial group. I would create a yeah. group that, like we did just a moment ago, um, the Swag House group, add the bot, set up that permission system, get the link from that group. And then when the airdrop message, like instead of welcome to Swag House, It'd be like, welcome to Swag Host, please join here. And you have the link to get into Verify to get into the actual group. Yeah, but the group, the, the group that I created with Collab Land in the beginning, it has a minimum swag uh -huh. that they have to join. Right. Right. So I don't know, like, uh, let me let me go back a little bit so I can explain better. So let's say that i create a group right nobody has swag in the group right right and then i added collab land as a bot as an admin right and i set up i set up the 400 minimum 400 and then i share the link in the group mm -hmm. oh okay you mean sep a separate i can create a separate group so right so sorry um so the way that i, I see this rolling out is that you add the bot and set up the airdrop for the first group that you have, right? Okay. And, and in that message, you should add a, um, the link for the, for the group that is token permissioned. So oh, link, okay, I got the link it. that two the groups. bot. So okay. right, you you have two groups, but you don't have to make an. You only have to make one new group because you already have that that first group that you're going to airdrop to. So I think the first step is actually create the the token permissioned group, the membership group, copy this invite link, and then walk through, and then add this and add the collab bot to um, the swag house public group right now. Where you have your early members and early users or, or early you know uh, fans and followers set up the airdrop there and then in that airdrop message you add that link so that people once they get the airdrop can join the new group or right okay i got it perfect, perfect. makes sense awesome <laughs> yeah so uh does the group have to be private the no no yeah, both both groups are public actually. Um, you, you can make the you can make the permission group private. Do make sure to um, to uh, oh sorry uh, make it 
a super group by just allowing for, for messages to be seen, message history. All right, all right. So uh, is there a limit? I don't know, maybe it has to do with uh, Telegram that I still have to check. But is there like a cap, a number for each group, like the limit? No, no limit. All right, all right, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think I got it. I have to <laughs> I have yeah, to man. give it a go. Yeah. Yeah, but totally. it's quite easy. Yeah. I already have that group, so I will be airdropping to that group with the link uh to a new group, a permission group. Right. right. Which yeah, which makes sense. Okay, got it. Awesome. Well, hey, great. Great catching up and great meeting. Um, let me know if you have any issues as you're setting that group up and happy to jump on. I'll be around this morning.